strongest and fastest athletes in the world. We've become desensitized to the unexplainable things these guys do every weekend. To stand out among all that, well, it takes an absolute freak of nature. If anybody on this list can't make it in football, they might have a shot to make it in Space Jam as one of the monsters. <laughs> Here are the biggest freaks That's of cool. nature in the NFL today. George Kittle. George Kittle is so much more than just the NFL's best blocking tight end. He's also one of the freakiest athletes we have in the NFL. He's skilled at everything. Lightning quick, agile, a great receiver, a touchdown scoring machine, and he's almost impossible to bring down. Stop. He can even effortlessly jump and touch a 12-foot That was high! Somehow. How the hell did he jump that high? That's not normal, man. It's power in his legs. The hell was that? But yeah, but he's heavy as well. Like, it's hard to... Jump as long as you got power, ain't nothing stopping him. Who came from tight end U, the University of Iowa, and was still overlooked by 32 teams, falling to the fifth round in the 2017 draft. At 6'4", 250, it's running tall. a 4540, Kittle's athleticism was on display early. In his second season, he broke the single season tight end receiving record. The most impressive part of Kittle's record breaking season was that he led all the players in the league with yards after the catch. He out Muscled, sped past, stiff armed, and juked for 870 yards after the catch. That was the friend you have that's just good at everything he tries. You know, if your friend was the best tight end in the NFL, Khalil Mack. Khalil Mack has been head and shoulders athletically superior to his opponents since he played at Buffalo University. Mack's long arm rush, as both a raider and a bear, shows off his ridiculous length and enormous power, chucking full-grown offensive linemen oh, off their feet as he pummels them. the quarterback. With one arm, Mack recycled Tristan Wirfs after he already <laughs> sacked the quarterback. Mack, this guy's got some serious hidden. Come here, boy. Hidden strength ready to unleash. Yeah isn't into the finesse game. He'll just run straight through you, as he possesses the best bull rush in the NFL. On his first night with the Chicago Bears, Max's thirst for quarterbacks and superhuman genes put on a show on Sunday Night Football. He snatched the ball right out of Deshaun Kaiser's hands for a strip sack. The very next drive, Mac caught an incredible interception and housed it. Khalil Mack's rare brand of freak has become the cornerstone of the Bears franchise, Julio Jones. Julio Jones must have been in the league for so long that people have just become accustomed to his absurd abilities. Jones isn't talked about much among the best athletes in the NFL when he clearly should be. It's like just because the Falcons lost the Super Bowl, we all forget the catch that Julio made at the end of the game. Oh. You know, the one that only Julio Jones could make. Fingertips. Julio has been doing that since his days with Bama. At 6'3", 220 pounds, Jones is one of the most menacing receivers ever. Julio combined size with four points. 39 speed making him a matchup nightmare he's all these guys are so massive yeah but they got so they're so agile on their feet for their size like it's insane it's natural ability a lot of hard work and training. yeah it's not just about size as long as you train put the effort in like, you'll be amazing at what you do. Yeah, these guys are clearly incredible. Yeah. Also a walking 100-yard game. No, literally. He averages 96 receiving yards a game in his career. Damn. Jones' catch radius makes him Matt Ryan's best friend. All you have to do is throw it near Julio's zip code, and he snags it. <laughs> Julio is what happens when a 99 percentile athlete has all the skills to go along with it. You get a first ballot Hall of Fame freak of nature, Saquon Barkley. Have you seen Saquon Barkley's quads? <laughs> Not what just the, the size hell? of tree trout, Barkley. Have you seen Hold Saquon on. Barkley? Oh. He's quad. That's not real. That is real. These are professional is athletes. Is he standing there tensing his quad? He's, he started tensing them and they became like that. So when I it, need his leg day workout. That is insane. It's real. These guys are NFL. They're pro athletes. It's but they're not just the size of tree trunks, what the, the size hell? of redwoods. You need the legs the size of Barkley to make seven USC defenders miss on one play. In his time at Penn State, he not only became a legend on the football field, Too but much. also in the weight room. As he set the power clean record, throwing up 405 pounds, God, benched 225 pounds for 30 reps, and 30, squatted 530 reps on that. What the hell? He done that like it's nothing. 25 pounds for five reps. 
Phillips. Barkley runs a 4.340 at 6 wow. foot 230 pounds. He can stop on a dime, blow past defenders, and even bring the truck stick. But his special Still is going feet. over defenders. Those massive legs sprint right over tacklers as they hit Casper instead of Saquon, who speeds to the end zone. In his first season in New York, he had 2,000 scrimmage yards, a rookie record, and 15 touchdowns. But nobody talks about his second year, where he came back from a nasty high ankle sprain to have 1,400 oh. scrimmage yards. If Saquon stays healthy, there's little to no doubt he will dominate the NFL. So that guy's an absolute laboratory experiment. That was a big success, basically. You know what? He is a very good example of, you know, training is not just about weights. Look, he's six foot three or whatever he was. Six foot, that one. He is strong as hell. Yeah. His quads are insane. Yeah. And yet he was so light on his feet. Yeah. He was able to dodge. He's very agile. He's and got it, speed. And they couldn't take him down. He's very well-rounded. Yeah, he's a, that's why I like well-rounded players. Yeah. I, I think that's what makes a great athlete is being well-rounded in all, all areas. Mm. Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson is on this list for far different reasons than the others. Lamar is quite possibly one of the fastest players in the league. Reportedly running a 4.3440 at Louisville back in 2017. That's fast. And trying to tackle him is like trying to catch the wind. Jackson <laughs> isn't a very strong player, but his ability to cut on a dime or spin out of tackles is second to none. The Ravens have built their entire offense around Lamar Jackson's unique ability. Even when it looks like he should hand it off on the read option, Jackson pulls the ball and slithers past opponents with ease. Quick. Jackson's running style looks like it's being played at two times the speed and everyone else is on normal time. To make matters <laughs> worse for Ravens opponents, Jackson has a rocket arm that is pinpoint accurate when he's set. The only comparison to Jackson is Michael Vick, but Vick wasn't nearly as far along a passer at Jackson's age. In his MVP season, Lamar's abilities helped the Ravens become the greatest rushing offense in the history of football. When you put into perspective how much more prevalent running the ball was, was in the past, the Ravens obliterating the all-time rushing number is a testament to Lamar Jackson's absolutely freaky abilities. Tyree. So Lamar Jackson's basically the Flash, the real life Flash, <laughs> basically. Free kill. You've probably heard the term track speed. Oh, mm. he's got track speed on the football field. Well, how about gold medalist Olympic speed? That is exactly what Tyreek Hill has. Damn. Hill is without a doubt the fastest player in the NFL, and arguably the fastest player the league has ever seen. Appropriately nicknamed the Cheetah, Hill chucks up the deuces as he pedals past the plane of the end zone and is a nightmare for defenses all over the league. In fact, NFL teams build their entire game plan around Hill's blazing speed there's not you know what yeah as a defender when you're up against someone you know is that quick you must know like going into that game you'll be like this is gonna be a long day for me man i'm gonna be chasing this guy i mean as a commentator you just explained they plan their whole game around him they have to is that planning a whole game around messi yeah like in the football and soccer yeah. terms yeah Fine run to quantify his speed, but at his pro day in 2016, some scouts hand timed him at 4.21 in the wow. 40. Even when Tariq doesn't have the ball, he's running fast. On an 84 yard Damian Williams touchdown run, he ran up to catch up and celebrate, clocking in at an amazing 22.81 miles an hour. What you the can visually hell? see Hill running like everyone else is in call. slow motion, cruising by defenders trying to get the ball carrier. The way Tyreek <laughs> Hill just zooms past some of the world's best athletes athletes is simply jaw-dropping. Miles Garrett. Miles Garrett is the most underappreciated freak in the NFL. A man at 270 pounds should oh, not massive. be leaping over other men and doing windmill dunks in his spare time. Garrett's explosiveness is unmatched on the line of scrimmage. He's long and strong. His first step dominates blockers and resets the line of scrimmage. While he's still developing as a defensive lineman, Garrett can get by on just his pure freak athleticism alone. He has arguably the fastest get off of any D lineman in the league. And that comes from the inhuman power that allows him to box jump while holding a pair of 40 pound dumbbells. The ex box jumping is hard as it is, let alone holding 40 pounds. He's carrying pounds. weight on top of that, of his oh, body his weight side, as well. Yeah. My God. That's mad. Explosiveness of a 6'4", 270-pound man He's who heavy. runs a 4.4 in the 40 made him a unanimous first overall pick. And he's the last guy you'd want to meet in a dark alley.
DK <laughs> well, Metcalf. I'll knock you out. To show what kind of a monster DK Metcalf is, we have to start with the pre-combine pictures. Normal humans don't look like that. They just don't. If we look <laughs> like that, we'd never wear a shirt either. But DK <laughs> isn't just a 6'3", 228-pound behemoth with 5% body fat. He's one of the league's fastest receivers as well. He showed it with a 4.340 time at the combine. You can tell he's boss blowing speed like literally like the other guy where they called him a cheetah dk can just outrun defenders if his speed isn't fast enough his 40 inch vertical leap to jump over corners will do just the trick so if mad. you think you can just jam him at the line well good luck metcalf's 27 reps on the bench press is more than any receiver in recent history quite <laughs> simply dk metcalf makes you believe in the unbelievable like maybe aliens are already here on earth he's the league's <laughs> largest receiver and when he's not running past defensive backs, he's hawking them down. Sorry, Buda Baker. Aaron Donald. Aaron Donald was told before the draft he was too small to be an elite defensive lineman in the uh -oh. NFL. Opinions like that are why people get fired. Donald makes up for some slight size concerns by being built like Hercules and possessing the fastest feet in the NFL. He broke the 40-yard dash record for defensive tackles at a ridiculous 4.6. Yeah. For a guy his size defender, he's quick and you need someone like that to keep up with these bloody attackers that they just showed us yeah because they're fast yeah you heard that right 280 pounds Damn, running at 4. 280 6. pounds Donald's long distance That's speed isn't way. even as impressive as his reaction speed he darts and cuts through blockers like a knife through butter obliterating plays sometimes at the handoff the old saying if you can't block them read them doesn't really work on aaron donald either with the short area quickness of a running back donald somehow plays both sides of a read option run changing direction if his first choice is wrong aaron Aaron Donald doesn't just have speed though, oh. he has the ultimate combination of both speed and strength. Considering he benches upward of 500 pounds and can lift grown men what? off the ground like children. Part of Donald's pure freak ability is his certifiably insane workouts. He's even been seen improving his hand speed by dodging knives. Aaron Donald is the <laughs> ultimate make you take a second look player in the- uh, He's a monster. <laughs> that's that's what he some serious training. This guy's a monster. But that's what I like. Well, they're mad at their sport outside of their sport the training and like them in the gym is next level as well they're not just good at nfl and they just train for nfl they're like weight their weight lifting is high everything's just high all round mm -hmm. dodger knives he's definitely the most valuable defender derrick henry there's never been anyone quite like Derrick Henry. He's a 6'4", 250-pound running back, larger than every linebacker, and not much smaller than most linemen. Not to mention, he runs a legitimate 4.5. So a guy that towers over defenders can also run faster than them. If Henry gets four to five steps going forward, it's like trying to stop a freight train. He's almost <laughs> impossible to bring to the ground in the open field, and has arguably the greatest stiff arm in NFL history. That's what you liked. We watched the video guys on like the top tackles or something, like crazy tackles. And every time there was a stiff arm, which is, you know, when they go like that, you like that shit. You're like, what the hell? Yeah, that's her favorite. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, her favorite move in it the is. NFL. History. <laughs> Just ask Josh Norman or Earl Thomas or anybody on the Jacksonville Jaguars. Henry's freakish ability has terrorized Jacksonville <laughs> since he was in high school. Once you're done with this video, go look at Derrick Henry's high school football highlight tape. He Henry only gets them. better as the game goes on. Or maybe the opposing team just gets tired of tackling him. The defenders don't realize just how impossibly fast Henry is until he breaks away from them. And they don't realize how strong he is until they're flying through the air. Derrick God. Henry defies Damn. human physiology. Got me from that, me, boy. <laughs> he's one of the NFL's biggest freaks of nature. So that was current freaks of nature. Because we've wow. done another video of uh, top 10 freaks of nature in history in the NFL. This is more present. For current timing they're they're all amazing yeah uh, crazy athletes i mean there's a reason why they were in this video they're just amazing at what they do the power the strength the agility Everything. like you said the training outside of the sport as well yeah the training outside of sport makes them into what they currently are in the sport yeah now, a guy's training with knives so for his reaction speeds that's why his reactions are so mad well he has to be fast <laughs> he's gonna get stabbed up look who he's up against yeah, yeah. Guys, thank you so much for recommending the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Keep suggesting content like this. We are reading the comments. For now, peace out. Bye.